Hey, this is Yanni with the RDMV team. Today we're talking about home inspection do's and don'ts. Yanni here with the RDMV team. And like I mentioned, uh, we're going to be talking about home inspection do's and don'ts. Uh, home inspection is a big part of the home buying process, and for a lot of first time home buyers, it can be a, a scary part of that process, uh, but there's a few things that will help you uh, in terms of getting through that stage. Um, typically home inspection happens once you're under contract, you have about a five, seven, or 10 day uh, contingency period that you have an opportunity to do an inspection. So here's a few things that do's and don'ts that you wanna keep in mind. First and foremost is you wanna hire a trusted, licensed, uh, reliable inspector. Uh, and there's a few ways you can do this. For a lot of first-time home buyers, you know, you necessarily don't know somebody like that. So you want to rely on your um, uh, buyer's agents, uh, referral references uh, to, to to give you people that they've trusted, they've worked with before. You can also do your reviews online. Uh, uh, read, you know, whether it be Yelp or uh, read the reviews of, of different companies. Just do your due diligence. Uh, this is this is big. Uh, you certainly don't want to. Uh, go with the cheapest or uh, hire a family friend that knows about houses or things of that sort. This is going to be a big investment, so you never, you just, this is the worst place to kind of go cheap on. Uh, you want to make sure you want, uh, you have somebody, an inspector, uh, that's going to be very thorough, that's done this for a while, knows, has certifications. Uh, so just don't go with the cheapest. Make sure you do your due diligence and, and, and hire a really trusted, reliable, and, and someone that knows what they're doing. So that's number one. Uh, number two is you want to focus on the uh, big ticket items, the, the major systems. Uh, systems like uh, the AC, the furnace, uh, the, the water heater, uh, the roof, the appliances, the plumbing. That's what you want to focus on. You want to make sure those items, those big ticket items that can cost a lot of money to fix, uh, are, are in good condition. Uh, you certainly don't want to just uh, don't want to focus on the cosmetic things, the maintenance items, things that can be fixed easily, or things that typically are wear and tear items. Um, you want to focus more on, hey, what's the big ticket items? Uh, is the roof in good condition? The water heater? What's the age? Do I have to replace that soon? So focus on the the big ticket items. And, and number three, um, you gotta be willing to to be creative when it's when it comes time to negotiating on uh, agreeing to uh, on those terms. If there's um, issues when you go back to the seller, be creative, and you can rely more on your agent for that as well. But um, it's not necessarily just have them fix it or or no uh, type of uh, negotiating. It could be where you know it could be situations where sellers are strapped for money, so they necessarily don't have money to, to fix those items, but they can, they're more willing to, to give you credit uh, in terms of monetary credit towards your closing costs and, and things of that sort. So it's less money out of your pocket, or they could uh, be willing to, to pay out of the proceeds of the sale to pay a contract directly to fix those items after after settlement. Uh, so be willing to, to be creative when it comes to that. Just doesn't have to necessarily be they fix it or it's it's a, uh, it's a no agreement type of type of thing. And like I said, you can rely on your buyer's agent for that um, for that information. So these are the main things. Again, first and foremost, hire a trusted, reliable uh, inspector, inspection uh, inspection company. Uh, focus on the big ticket items and be willing to be creative when it comes time to to find an agreement to, to fix those. Uh, to fix those issues. Um, so again, if you have any other questions about this process, make sure you give us a call. Uh, we'll be more than willing to sit down with you and kind of explain this a little bit more. But hopefully this was beneficial. If it was, make sure you share uh, to anybody that you think might benefit from this information. Uh, Yanni here with your DMV team. Have a blessed day.